Are we even halfway yet? No. We're Lauren and Kirk, <laughs> and this is Solianus. We sailed her from Lake Michigan, down the Mississippi, to the Gulf of Mexico, the ocean! and have been living and working aboard ever since. After hauling the boat over hurricane season, we moved into our summer home on wheels. All right, boat, take care of yourself. A van we named Chip. Last time, we took you sailing in the North Channel of Lake Huron. It was a pretty epic five days, and if you haven't seen it, definitely put it on your watch list. After getting back to shore, we drove to the southern tip of Manitoulin Island to catch the ferry to Tobermory. In 500 meters, you will arrive at your destination. Big boat, eh? That <laughs> was a huge boat, eh? It was a really pretty boat. Yeah. I don't need to film you anymore. I don't need to film you anymore. <laughs> Did you tell everybody why you're back here? No. We missed the boat. Well, not yet. Not yet. We missed the guarantee of getting on the boat. We're the first vehicle on standby. So uh, I'm really glad I only got the one piece because this fish is a whopper. Did it come with chips? Yeah, game of chips. Whoa. Yeah. What's the verdict? This tartar sauce is green is and is like pickled and it is by far the best tartar sauce I've ever had in my entire life. Wow. Thank you. We made it. This is Little Tub Harbor, the hub around which pretty much everything happens in Tobermory. As we always do in port towns, we gravitated to the docks to check out the boats. And here, we couldn't believe how crystal clear the water is. Okay. Let's do it. I'm gonna love you when we're old and gray, when our eyes don't see very far away. I'm gonna love you when there's dishes to be done. Oh, I scrub, scrub, scrub just to hear you say hi. I'm gonna, gonna love you with the words on my mouth with the works on my hands don't you ever doubt i'm gonna love you with soft little kisses you'll be my mister and i'll be Hey there, Chip. Chip's a dirty bird. All right, what do we have here? We got hummus. We got carrots. Oh, the blueberries are floating. We got things on. Snap peas. We got cheese. 
This was our typical lunch on the road. A little of this, a little of that. Ideally, whatever hadn't drowned in the cooler of melted ice. We're in the Bruce Peninsula National Park, about to go on a little hike. About 400 million years ago, this area was covered by a shallow tropical sea teeming with life. When the sea started to dry up, the minerals in the water became more concentrated. Magnesium was absorbed by the limestone, which turned into a much harder rock called dolomite. After wave action erodes the underlying limestone, these huge dolomite boulders fall into the water. What do you think? We're in a fun little town. You can drive your car right into the beach. You know, it's kind of novel. Yeah. Sit in your car and watch the sunset. It's like California in the 50s. Yeah. We continued on south through Ontario to Point Pelee, our last stop before returning to my parents' house in Michigan. Kurt, where are you? We're on the southernmost point of Canada. Are we though? I don't think we are. No, it's actually right there. I thought that was Windsor. No, it says southernmost point of Canada. Is it? Yeah. Oh. Point Peely. Back in Michigan, it was time to make Chip a bit more livable. The van when we bought it came with a, a wood floor in and nothing else, that's it. No windows, nothing. We've done a one month road trip so far. I think I could stay with you. And this is pretty much how we use the van. We brought some clothes in a Rubbermaid, hung our surfboard up on the roof, we laid down some cushions, and we were pretty happy. This setup, of course, was temporary. The goal is to eventually build Chip out so we don't feel like we're camping every night. But we're in no rush. Before jumping into upgrades, we wanted to spend some time in the van and figure out exactly what we needed. Our long-term plan isn't to live in the van full-time, but rather use it as an off-season vehicle to get around in and provide a roof over our heads while we're on land. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start with the floor. So the previous owners of our van made pretty darn good template for us, which is going to make cutting out all of our floor pieces quite a bit easier. All right, now that we've got everything off the floor, we've got to take out these tie-down D-rings. One, two, three, four. So that we can get the old plywood out. If you really want to get back at someone, put a bunch of flat hood screws in the project they're about to work on. They're the worst. We bought this van knowing that the floor was a little bit damaged. The previous owners loaded up a pallet really heavy and rolled it in on a floor jack and the wheels were skinny and narrow and just sank into the floor. But 
I think we got a great deal on the van and that was the only issue. So we're about to put a nice new floor in here, level it all out and we're gonna be sitting pretty. I'm going through and scuffing up the floor of the van because we're gonna coat it with an elastomeric roof paint. What we've read is that elastomeric roof paint has enough silicone in it and might provide some sound deadening. Uh, so we're gonna put, I think, two coats on it, seal this all up, but also try and give us a little bit of sound deadening. So I'm just prepping the surface and I'm gonna try and lay one coat before it gets too dark. I don't know if that's gonna happen. Yard in downtown Ann Arbor. It has every kind of wood imaginable. It smells like wood. That was fast and easy. Yeah, it was. <laughs> Casual Saturday night at Home Depot. <laughs> Looking all schwanky. Where do we come from, this? We just came from a wedding celebration. And now we are looking for PL300 foam board adhesive. What color would you want? I don't know. We haven't even like figured this out. Here. Well, I think we can take these. After painting the floor, we added two layers of insulation, followed by a sheet of plywood before laying down the vinyl. I'm probably putting too much on it, but... Really? I don't know. This is the part that we're going to walk on the most right here. So I want to make sure that it is glued down really well. It's fair to say we're probably about halfway through our floor install. Yeah? I think we're closer to two thirds. Yeah? Yeah. We got the foam down in between the ribs. We got the solid foam down. Now we're putting the plywood down. After that is the vinyl. Ready for the last one? Then we gotta yeah. get weight on. Pretty good. Uh, Are the seams moving? I don't think so. Yeah? I think it's stuck. Sweet. Yeah. That's what we wanted. So we have insulated floors. Yeah. We're going to pick up some vinyl today after I trowel the floors smooth. We're gonna pick up some wool for the walls and the ceilings. We're not gonna install that yet because we don't have any walls to put up. Right. And we gotta run some electrical. And we're gonna do that not next now. year. <laughs> 